Hello everyone and welcome to the White Shark channel. I hope you're all doing well this evening. Second part of our small mini series that I've been doing during the close season. Today I want to take a wee look at coastal wobblers. Many of you might not be too familiar with a coastal wobbler. I know I wasn't up until about eight years ago. And the first one that came under my path was the fox tri clover. Now these lures were originally designed by fishermen on the Baltic Sea. They needed a lure that they could cast out far but they could retrieve really really slow during the winter periods. And most of the concepts sort of come up with something similar to this design. I'm not going to lie now, I got the lures and tried them a few times. had a few fish on them didn't really think too much more about them until I came across the Western Salty Range. Now, I had talked a little about these in the last video, so I had the Salties. In the last video, it was the Lion Street version. These are the fixed version, as you can see, double split things. But these little guys, I have to say, are probably my favourite coastal wobblers. They're really good, good representations of small horn fry. But not also horn fry. Also, this here represents possibly small juvenile cool fish, small pollock ATC, or and this variety is another particular favourite. It's a very good representation the saltwater sticklebacks that you'll find in the beach. See the nice green shimmer on the lure. They're particularly effective if you fish those in around muddy areas, especially in the, in the early part of the season. There's not too much bait fish around, and sea trout tend to gorge themselves on the sticklebacks because it's one of the very few foods available for them. Again, in the winter time, you can also try. This variational colour, paddock greasing. For whatever reason, it sea trout go absolutely crazy during the winter for the white lures. So it's a tinge of almost peach. I found this smaller really effective at the, during the opening part of the season. March, April time, and the water's still that wee bit colder. Seems to nail them quite well. If you're having a slow day, in terms of coastal wobblers, Western of the Maxi Gober. As you can see in the pink and blue, or just in the pickled sardine blue. What makes these lures slightly more interesting than the other coastal wobblers is you can pick that up on the camera. Small ball burns inside the lures, give them a small rattle. And you can find sometimes the sea trout aren't biting. That extra sound you can just give that trigger attack. Another great lure for trigger attacks is the Western Sea Trout. As you can see, this is a pure heron representation. I don't think you could accuse him of being anything else. Great lure, cast like an absolute bullet. And there's a very, very slow wobble, which means you can fish these low lures at a really slow speed. And when you're having those hard days with sea trout, sometimes just that slow enticing wiggle in front of one can trigger off the bite. Not to be outdone, Abu Garcia have a wet range. Coastal wobbling lures, here you can see the Mogul Coast Slims. These lures are a fair fact of again, I go for the white during the winter time. Just that colour variation that white seems to trigger the attacks in the winter. Summertime, most of the bait fish are in. You can pick that up. Nice herring fry representation again. Great wee lures again. Quite a slow wobble. You can retrieve these fast or slow either way. Tend to fish them slow during the winter. Once we get the summer months, get them cranked in. 
I don't think you can possibly retrieve two slow at all for a sea train, even at top speed of hit fish. This is another great lure from Salmo. Some of you might be familiar with Salmo from their peg range. This is a Salmo Wave 7. Quite an unusual little lure. Tends to fish upright almost in the water, 45 degree angle. Great lure for retrieving really, really fast. Almost breaking the top of the water event. You see the holographic finish in some of these lures is absolutely unreal. Pick them up. Great flash out there. Again, another summer favourite. Summertime, if they're not on Horn Fry, they'll be on the sand deals. This is a sand deal pencil, something along the lines of yeah, sand deal pencil, I think. Again, small burn ball burns in there. I don't know if you can see those moving. Great reload for that. Trigger and on. It's one of actually very few coastal wobblers that I've used that I can find that you can team up with a jobber fly. For some reason uh, they don't seem to fish the coastal wobblers as well with a jobber fly rig, but Salvage Gear Pencil Sandy actually allows itself. Well, it's quite a straight retrieve coming in, but that can work if you team it up with a jobber fly quite well. If we've got the heavier conditions, rough conditions, we can scale our lures up. This is the Savage, or sorry, it's not, it's the Abu Garcia Coast, the original version of the Coast. I think this might have been one of our first versions of the Coastal Wobblers. Again, we'll be using this lure in them windier days. You need to get out into that clearer water. You can find sometimes in the summer the first 15 to 20 feet of beach can be clouded up but on behind that the fish can be sitting feeding away so you need to get out these heavier lures up it's running in 16 grams and I think 16 plus gives you that cast and they go out. Unusual version of a coastal wobbler we all know 60 to 70 percent of a sea trout stack consists of shrimp a lot of my shrimp fly droppers do the business Again, this big coastal wobbler. I think you could accuse him of being anything else other than a Baltic prom. This big lure has a great, great wobble. You can see what you can actually do with him spin the hook around and reverse him. So you have the hook on the bottom and then you can jig fish him. Well, you can also tame this coastal wobbler up. Make it look like almost a wee shoal of shrimp travelling through. Again, it's great lure in clear water conditions. Really, really realistic representation of shrimp. 20 grams, no bother casting that boy out. Bigger versions of the Western Sea Trout. You see that in the canned sardine variety. Again, if it's really murky, I like to go for something that has a real flash to it. Need to catch their attention during the murky conditions. And that's Western Sea Trout on then at 18 grams certainly does that in the Diamond Thief pattern. Really, really great finish to most of these lures. Savage Gear again. This is a herring. I find this lure really effective during the early part of the season. Very slow fish lure. Almost just tease it off the bottom. It's a great wiggle, so it has. It's very, very enticing. What you're trying to do at the early part of the year is really catch the sea trout. Sorry, there's not much feeding around. Something bright just triggers those attacks straight off from them. Another nice little lure to use. I find this lure effective all year round. Is the Western Great Hern. 13 grams, very versatile little lure. Fish is a little deeper than the other coastal wobblers, which can be a real good advantage if you're fishing in a high wave. You need to get the lure down just that little bit. Some of the coastal wobblers have a tendency to skate in heavier conditions. They're not strong to medium current. You can sometimes find the baits will skate, but this little great horn cuts down on that. Cuts through the water pretty deep. Again, 
efficient, nice and slow. Usually provokes those trigger bites. Uh, one of those has come out last year. I'm really pinning a lot of hopes in this for the start of this season is the Western Moby. Very similar to another very famous coastal wobbler, Falk Fish. If I can pick up on that. Yeah, I think that's that little lure should do the business once we get out in March again. All these coastal wobblers, the thing you'll find them, they're great casting lures. They all go like bullets. Again, we can have the it's actually glow in the dark version of the fox trike clever. Sticks out like a sore thumb too when you're just fishing and coming on the dark. Great eelers show that. Another one sort of a goby representation. I find see how gorge themselves in gobies too. You yeah. know, little ball burn rattles. Highly effective in those clear water conditions too. Golds and coppers, you'll tend to find fish very well if you've clear sky conditions, clear water conditions on the shore. So you boys can pick up a few fish as well. Bit of a strange colour variation just to look at lastly. A lot of our peg fishermen might be familiar with the old fire tiger colour. Strangely enough, the sea trout are quite fond of it too in salt water. I think it might be the fact that possibly the sticklebacks again create a greeny hue to them. These wee lures certainly are very effective given the right conditions. You know, like the fish season clear, clear skies, clear water conditions early part of the season can trigger quite a few bites. You know, all these lures have had high gloss finish to them. Another wee lure, rest and salty. Again, this diamond thief pattern is great. Coming into the last part of the summer, August, September, find a lot of these lures. Just what you want to be doing is representing small bait fish. This wee boy, quite a few fish in this fish up to three to four pounds in this particular wee salty. Again, all these lures are easy enough sourced. Certain auction sites online, very easily found. Most of them running in between four to five pounds. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed our look at Coastal Wobblers tonight. And if you like the video, please give me a like. It helps to grow the channel and give me a subscription too if you can. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Bye.